Hey, it's Chad with Grace Car, and I wanted to do a quick walkthrough, an explainer video for uh, a card abandonment workflow that would uh, is basically built in Drip, uh, the marketing automation platform. And I wanted to just kind of share, uh, kind of, well, we all know that customers, there's a high percentage of, of customers or visitors that come to your, your site and they may place an order and not go through completion of of uh, making a purchase, finalizing a purchase once they've added an item to their cart or started their checkout process. So um, this is one of the ways that you can try to recover some of those orders to get people uh, to become uh, recurring customers, long-term customers. So I wanna do quick first though, uh, an explanation of what these different colors mean. Okay, so again, this is a workflow in Drip that's always on, it's automation, it's happening when we sleep, okay, and when we're awake, <laughs> and when we're you know building a business. All right, so the green um, are these here, these indicate that it's a trigger, a something happened, an event that happened that caused this whole process to start. Okay, that's what the green means. Red are delays. Uh, you, these can be in days or minutes, weeks. Um, so that's what red is. And then yellow, these yellow boxes are um, their decisions. So basically, um, as somebody works through this workflow, you see a you see the yellow, it's it's where the, the program has to, is going to make a decision based upon a subscriber's attributes, okay? Um, over here, this clear, uh, or not clear, but uh, I guess white clearish, I guess, you know, with the red outline is, a, is an exit uh, from the workflow. And again, I'm going to go through this in much more detail. The blue is when act, certain things that are happening in the workflow. It's when an action is being taken um, in the workflow. Um, and then down here, the green can also be a goal that's achieved. Something happened and a goal is achieved that fast forwards someone from one spot in the workflow to another, okay? So let me just start at the top, okay? We're gonna kind of skip around here and we'll all make sense, but um, what, what we have here is what's happening is there's an event that triggers when somebody adds an item to a cart, okay? So what's called a custom event and drip and this uh, integration with Gracecart and Drip allows this event to be sent from Gracecart to Drip. So we are going to, whenever someone starts adding items to their cart, they're going to enter this workflow, okay? Now the initial, the initial process that happens is that after that first person, or after that, uh, that person adds the first item to their cart, boom, they start this workflow and they put on a timer for 90 minutes to allow them to complete their purchase. Ultimately, that's the goal. So what happens, you know, when that happens, uh, we're gonna actually fast forward, and we're gonna assume that that happens. So again, as I mentioned, these are goals, and when one of these goals is hit, then it fast forwards someone from this 90 minute, white, uh, 90 minute wait time through all these other steps to this goal. So if it's called confirmed order, is kind of how we're, the event we're gonna be calling when someone makes a purchase. So they would skip all the potential abandoned cart email that would go out. We don't want them to get that abandoned cart email if they complete a purchase. So with the, we are going to then, um, the next step, since they fast forwarded by hitting this goal is to see, are they, did they ever reach the, the, the process of being active in cart abandonment? They did not, okay, because they, they recover their order in that 90 minute, or they, they finish their purchase in their 90 minute uh, time frame from up the top of the workflow. So they would just exit the workflow. This is what we want to happen all the time. This is basically someone come to your, your website, someone come to your, um, your uh, shop making a purchase, okay? So this really doesn't apply to them. They get no cart uh, abandonment emails because they didn't abandon their cart. But for the folks who starts adding something to their cart, they um, wait 90 minutes and they have not processed an order, they haven't made a purchase, they haven't confirmed an order, then they're gonna continue down the step, the path. Okay, I'm actually gonna come back um, to these two items here. So we're just gonna skip past these. They will make more sense um, in a bit, okay? So after 90 minutes, they're gonna go through these processes. And then again, we are gonna label them as being active in card abandonment with a tag on their subscriber profile. So they're actively in card abandonment and um, they didn't recover their, they didn't finalize their purchase. So then we're gonna send them an email after 90 minutes, just it's very short and sweet. Just to say, did you forget something? Um, there are some suggested texts in here we can send <clears throat> and just, you know, says, hey, we saw you didn't get a chance to complete your order on the website. Is it convenient to you? You know, this is basically a direct link back to finish their cart. Okay. 
very very short and sweet, not um, uh, not a big dis perfectly designed email, very one off one uh, one off email. Okay, so they get that email, and then you actually can add you know uh, another step here to wait two days and send another email. Okay, or in this instance for this very simple workflow, we're just going to give them five days to recover their their um, purchase, and then we're going to um, assume that they, they, again, at this point, they've not made a purchase. So after five days, no purchase is still here. Then we're going to remove them from the active active cart abandonment. And we're going to no longer market to them, follow up with them. And then we're going to put them in what's called locked cart abandonment. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. What that means is we don't want this to trigger every time someone starts, if they abandon their cart every time they order, it would be annoying if they kept getting emails. So what we're going to do is apply this tag called locked cart abandonment, um, and then for the process of the next 30 days, okay, they are not going to be able to enter this workflow. Um, even though they abandon their cart, we're just going to say that's okay. We don't want to bombard people with emails every time they abandon their cart. So for 30 days, even 60 days, typically it was more common. I would I would lock someone from receiving a cart abandonment emails probably for 60 days, maybe a little bit longer. Um, then they would have this tag, okay. So that, that's where this comes in um, up here. So if someone um, had started their cart, they waited 90 minutes, they didn't make a purchase, um, and then we're gonna skip this one again, okay? But then if they come down here, it, this is where Drip is going to look at their subscriber attributes and see, okay, is this person locked with cart abandonment? And if they are, then they'll exit the workflow and they won't receive any further emails for cart abandonment over that 30 or 60 day period, even if they are abandoning their cart. Again, after that 30 or 60 day period passes, if they continue to abandon their cart, they would re-enter this workflow and proceed down that same path, okay? So, um, but again, after the 30 and 60 days is locked or is up, then we're gonna remove that tag so they can enter the, enter the, the um, workflow again, and then they're just gonna exit this workflow completely and they're good. So it looks like over the course of you know five days, we're gonna send them one email and then they're gonna exit the workflow. Okay. Now, for the people that that um, <clears throat> receive this email right uh, here, okay, so it's 90 minutes after they've started to abandon their cart. Maybe, maybe two hours later, they get back on their computer, they see their email, they click on the link, and they take them back to the cart and make a purchase. Well, then, boom, they um, are going to get this confirmed uh, confirmed order, or they're going to meet this goal because they made a purchase. Okay. Keep in mind. Up here, when they entered this part of the workflow, we tag them as being active in a cart. So Drip knows that. They haven't reached this step to remove that tag, okay, because they're still in this five-day waiting period. So they still have that tag, and when it comes down here and they meet their goal of confirming an order or making a purchase, Drip's going to see, okay, well, let's see if this is somebody who's made a purchase who was, in cart who was active in cart abandonment. That way we want to know, okay, how many people are actually recovering their cart? And we can get some data around how effective this workflow is. So then um, we look and see, and in this example, yes, they are active in cart abandonment. So they're going to go down this pathway, and we're going to record an event that showed, hey, this person recovered their cart via this workflow. So we can document how many times that happens. And then since they've, they're finished with their purchase and they are no longer active in cart abandonment, um, then we can remove that tag. And then they will exit the workflow and go about uh, you know, our normal marketing, material, our marketing uh, processes. So... The only other thing that I didn't cover was this, um, this step up here, this first decision after they complete their 90 minutes. Sometimes um, people, um, you know, we have a very quick payment processor and we've made it very simple for people to put their credit card in and finish an order. And one thing that we had noticed is what there, there were some times where people were, were initiating a checkout and completing a purchase in the same exact minute. And so, um, it was uh, they weren't exiting the workflow. They weren't meeting. They weren't meeting this goal of confirming an order. Um, it, Drip wasn't able to to see that it was happening after the after this trigger started um, because they happened in the same minute and people were inadvertently um, or mistakenly entering this workflow. So we added this one extra level um, of uh, care of this extra step to just say, hey, have they made a purchase in the last 24 hours? And if so, then they would exit the workflow, and we would be uh, we would bypass that. So, 
anyhow, I hope that uh, that helps. Uh, and if there are questions, you're uh, more than happy, uh, more than welcome to reach out to us.